good afternoon and welcome to Berka Shultership Management Hellas office. We have today with us the Managing Director of um, BSM Hellas, Mr. Theofani Theofanos, and we are going to discuss um, an important matter um, for ship owning and ship management, namely crewing, seafarers. Uh, Theofani, being a seafarer yourself, and a captain actually, mm -hmm. what does the um, two words crew care mean to you? So thanks a lot, first of all, for the uh, I think interview. Um, um, I always say that uh, she is as good as the crew members who sail on her. So by saying that, it means that we have to pay attention to our seafarers. We need, we are expecting seafarers to be loyal to us, but we have to be loyal to them as well. So we have to make them feel uh, important to the company. And uh, even though uh, a lot of, it's a wrong expression to say that our big castle is our crew members, mm -hmm. but indeed, I mean, we uh, pay a lot of attention to the performance of the seafarers. If they are doing a good job on board the ship, we are performing well in the office as well. So it is very important for us to have a good crew on our ships. So the term crew care yeah. is in the um, veins of BSM. Yes, and uh, in view of my background, I, was, I used to be a crew manager in the past. Mm -hmm. So this is the way I started my career in, uh, ashore. So I pay a lot of attention to True, we have to respect them, and uh, the return is very valuable to us. Okay. What are the present challenges in crewing um, that have been recently or, or observed in the wider market? Yeah, one of the biggest issues that we had was the recent war with, uh, between uh, Russia and Ukraine. So we have to take care of our seafarers. Mm -hmm. SPSM in Hellas, we assisted a number of uh, seafarers moving to Greece or mm -hmm. to many or to other nearby countries. Uh, so we helped them at the beginning to move and find a place to stay. Mm -hmm. uh, we covered their costs for the initial period. And uh, so for us it is very important to help them because they are people that they work for BSM for years, loyal employees, and we need to uh, pay them our respect and our assistance in this respect. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the main issues that we face nowadays, of course, is a shortage, yeah. especially on specific type of uh, yes, ships, yeah. yeah. So like we have the LNG and, and mm -hmm. you know when uh, BSM Greece is expanding a lot of LNGs. How, how many ships you have now with LNG? So we have 16 LNGs in total. Wow. Yes, and we have a huge uh, uh, expansion. There are uh, a number of ships that they will follow between now and 2026-27. So we do cross training of course mm -hmm. because we need to train the people for LNGs are not uh, so much and not available, so we have mm -hmm. to do cross training. We spend a lot of money for training, and um, so one of the issues is the shortage. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that one of the uh, problems that we face it was the Chinese crew members. Yeah, because of the pandemic and yes, COVID nineteen, we had uh, issues to arrange embarkation with embarkation. So a number of officers owners decided to move to other nationalities. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that uh, creates a problem in the shortage, basically, because mm -hmm. Chinese are not on board our ships anymore. Yeah. So we replace them with Filipinos, with Indians, with East Europeans, yeah. and uh, that created a problem in the shortage. So from our side as BSM, we started, um, if I'm not wrong, 12 years ago mm -hmm. uh, with um, a training uh, school in, in Ghana, in mm -hmm. collaboration with the local universities there. We started uh, training cadets, we had a cadet program. Mm -hmm. So, so far, uh, since 2012, I think there were 1,500 graduates, CVRS and uh, SBSM, we managed to train and uh, retain around 600 uh, cadets and officers all together. So, mm -hmm. uh, we have already our first masters and chief engineers. So, and those are people that they started as cadets mm -hmm. and they move onwards to uh, uh, they made their career now mm. they are the first captains and chief engineers sailing on our yeah. ships. So Talking about careers, yeah. um, mm -hmm. how does BSM support CFRs um, in their career path? Mm -hmm. So first of all we, exp we invest a lot on training and especially for cadet ships. Mm -hmm. So we have a program with cadets, we have uh, cadets on all our ships. Mm -hmm. We on some ships we have even 
more than the normal two heavy energy cadets that we have. We mm -hmm. train also electrical cadets. Uh, on the gas ships, we have also some gas uh, cadets that we employ on board the ship. And we have uh, four training schools, basically. That I was going to people. ask about the yeah, yeah. next question about the training We have a training school in Limassol. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows that. Uh, we have a big training school in, uh, in Manila, in India. As I said, we opened the school in Ghana as mm. well. And we have also some um, smaller uh, training uh, centers, let's say in China and also in, uh, in Poland, where we, we train our seafarers. We do tailor made training courses for us, for our seafarers. Do you do also for third other companies? Yes, as well? yes. We have, for example, in, in Cyprus, we recently have an agreement with a local uh, owner here in Greece to train people for the dual fuel engines, mm. the IGF training. So uh, we provide the training in Cyprus and then we will offer them also more training on our uh, uh, LNG uh, bunker uh, cars. You mentioned before about the shortage of uh, crew and what are the plans of PSM to further develop uh, the crew pool? So as I said, uh, we follow the training, so we have to train people. And on the other side, we have to keep our uh, seafarers uh, happy. We want to say that we are uh, the employee of choice. Mm -hmm. so we want people to come to us and stay with us, yeah. and also to promote BSM, to uh, manage to attract more seafarers. Mm -hmm. uh, as I said, being a ship manager, the best thing that you can say is the operations, the results, the statistics of your office. And uh, yes, office is here to uh, support the seafarers, mm. but if you don't have good crew members on board the ship, you cannot succeed. So you need to invest in training, and this is what we do as a group, and SPSM helps us okay. at the same time. Fair enough. About, uh, what about female seafarers? Uh, Look, um, we promote a lot uh, the female seafarers, and we can see, I mean, if you go through our ships now, you can see in the crew list, a lot of uh, women uh, basically they mm. try to join the LNGs mm -hmm. uh, and uh, our plan is to expand these numbers and we don't want to have any, uh, let's say, difference in numbers between uh, male and female uh, CFRS. It is very difficult, of, of course, due to the nature of the work, but we have seen lately that a number of uh, female uh, CFRS appears, they, we've got a lot of applications and this is what we promote from our side as well. So we need to see, to expand the numbers of female seafarers, we can see that in the office as well. I mean, in the past, you couldn't see a single manager in a shipping company now. Correct. In our office, it's almost 50-50% the, the female managers in our office. And through that, we promote a lot uh, the diverse and inclusion. So we need to see more seafarers. It mm -hmm. is not an easy job, but I believe that um, female seafarers, they have the guts to, uh, let's say, sail on the ships. So and we are really happy I mean, with them. We can see that they are very strong. Very good. You've been now with BSM 30 years. Yeah. Um, I wish you more, of course, another 10, 15 at least, yeah. I mean, until you get to retirement. Um, what is the last words you want to yeah, say to the CSN leaders? Uh, yeah. yeah, thank you for that. So, uh, first of all, I'm really proud about our office in Greece. So, we opened the office back in 2005. Uh, at the beginning, we have, uh, if I remember well, it was three or four ships under crew management. Mm -hmm. So, and over the years, we developed uh, to a good, to the first class ship management company here in Greece. Uh, we are very well known now, and as I said, we managed to attract uh, first class clients. Mm -hmm. We have uh, clients that uh, they want to enter into the LNG, so all of them they uh, uh, came through BSM Hellas, mm -hmm. so that to get the experience and then start their own LNG uh, business. business. Yeah, so the office is expanding, and uh, the, I'm really happy that our clients, mm. they recommend us to other prospective clients and we get True. business. So, and a part of the results that we have excellent operations here, and to run LNGs you have to have the office staff and also the uh, offices on board the ship that they are the, the top of the top, 
let's say, officers because and these are different than other ships. So, and what I can see is that the office is expanding. Mm -hmm. uh, we paid a lot of efforts. It was very difficult to penetrate into the Greek market, but now I can see that we are accepted as a member here yes. in Greece and uh, as a third party management. And I think that uh, we have seen that the number of uh, ship managers are following our example and they try to open or establish an office here in Greece. So, from my side, uh, a big thank to my team. Mm -hmm. So that's the most important. So we have a really good team, young team here in Greece that they believe in BSM, to the values of BSM, and they try hard to uh, establish a first class ship management. And what we can see as well so far is that we have all the approvals from all the majors for a long time, the time charter. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have a number of ships under BP, under Shell, under Exxon, Total, yes. you can name them. So, excellent uh, collaboration with the Greek community, of course, here. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very difficult for us to uh, be an employee of BSM Cyprus, so yeah. we didn't have so much with the Greek uh, shipping industry here. But nowadays, I think that we manage to penetrate into the market, but at the same time, uh, we were trained how to run ships in the Greek way. Yeah. In the Greek way, I think that they are leading the market. So for us, it's a good achievement. And I'm sure that BSM came here to stay. Thank you very much, Stefani. Thank it's you very much, Alan.